What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrader.com. Today we're gonna be checking out this UWS tool chest. It's gonna be a fifth wheel series. It's gonna sit down in the bed of your truck and be out of the way of your back window. Let's check it out. So in the truck, they have this crossover style toolbox that sits up on the bed rails. One complaint though, is that this is in the way when they're trying to line up their fifth wheel. This does sit up a little bit above the rails, which is just enough to cover it up when you're looking through that rear view mirror. The fifth wheel is down here and kind of underneath the toolbox so i can definitely see how it's blocking that view now if we get a different toolbox that maybe sits down in the bed that's going to eliminate all this up here so maybe you can see that and line up a little easier you can see that my hand is here and above the toolbox once i come right next to the toolbox you can't see my hand anymore so that's going to be the obstructed view you're going to have to deal with if you didn't have the fifth wheel probably wouldn't be that big a deal but you can't see the assembly underneath that toolbox it's all the way down here and if you can see my hand up here you're not gonna be able to see that to help line that up and get that in there straight as you can see our UWS fifth wheel toolbox it's way lower than the other one it's one it's not up on the rails it's all the way down here it's actually lower than the assembly inside the truck so it shouldn't get in your way at all when you're going to line up your fifth wheel now with the toolbox sitting much lower you can see a better view of where you need to line up the fifth wheel and get it connected now the seat does the headrest does cover up just a little bit of your view still but at least you can get it lined up now take a look at the outside of the box it's going to be a black powder coat aluminum with a diamond pattern now it is a glossy black versus like sometimes they're either a matte black or silver i kind of like the matte black better myself it usually hides scratches and dents a little better because it's just going to happen the more you use it over time but i think this one looks nice and with it being aluminum you don't have to worry about rust or corrosion either the way you open the box is there's two latches. There's gonna be one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. This one on the driver's side actually locks. So if you lock this, you can't open it from either side. Now you just pull on the latch and then you gotta lift up the lid. Now you only have to lift up the lid just a little bit. It doesn't pop open. It seems like it catches or starts to go on its own right about there. So you do have to help the lid up just a little bit for it to go. So again, let's get to right before it starts going. Right there then the lid pops open so it's not as aggressive as some other toolboxes out there but it still pops up on its own you're gonna have six cubic feet of space it's quite a bit actually you know when we switched over from the other toolbox that was up on the rails i wasn't sure how much this was going to hold and we got a majority of the stuff from the other toolbox in here we could probably jam a couple more things but i just wanted to give you a better view of all the different things that can fit in here to help you visualize what you want to throw in your toolbox Looking at the strut, there's gonna be one on each side of the lid and that's what helps it pop open so easily. Now, one thing I will say is watch out for clearance over here. Don't stack stuff up too tall because you don't want the strut to hit anything since it does come down here into the box itself. Now, if you were to hit something, it's not the end of the world because you can actually get a replacement for one of these struts. You'd measure from eyelet to eyelet. Most of the time they're 10 inches and you look on the side and you can see the force pounds. Make sure you get the right one to replace it. You can hook it right back up and work it like new. I like that because I like to invest in the toolbox. So if this little thing breaks, the whole thing isn't useless. You can replace that and keep going. Coming up a little higher, you can see our striker. That can also be adjusted. So if you loosen both of these, you can slide this back and forth. So over time, as you slam the lid down, maybe it doesn't latch like it used to. You can actually get that adjustment in there and make it like new again. There's a foam weather seal all around the lid that's going to help keep the elements out and the lid itself is also foam injected so that foam is going to help not only insulate the box but keep the structure of the lid it's not just going to be like a hollow lid it can be crushed in easily when you throw something on there another thing i like is the overhang on the lid so it doesn't just stop here at the top when you push it down you see it goes down quite a bit so that's going to help so the elements don't go up and in the box I'll give you some quick measurements it's going to be 59 inches long side to side and then it's going to be width of 18 and three quarter inches and then it's going to also be 11 inches tall so that's from the bottom of the box all the way up here some other measurements base wise it's going to be 18 inches of width with just the base of the box and if you count the lid it's going to be 20 inches so that's how much space you need in your bed for the box another thing you can see there's two gaps on either side so it doesn't fully go to the edge of the bed and that's nice because it doesn't cover up your tie down points so if you do need to use those they're still available in order to mount the box you will have to get the mounting hardware separately and you're gonna have to drill through the box and the bed of your truck to make those attachments so just make sure you check underneath your truck exactly where you want to put that box make sure there's nothing there you don't want to drill through now I like this toolbox. Usually I like the crossover design better because it sits up on the rails and has that gap on the bottom for putting in ladders or lumber or something like that. But I think this one's gonna work better, especially since it's meant for the fifth wheel setup. 
This is a lot easier to see the fifth wheel for lining that up because I want to make sure I get that right when I am backing up to my fifth wheel. So this works way better in this situation. I, it makes more sense for me to see it set up like this and sit up in the cab and see the difficulties of trying to line that up when the box is blocking it. So I really like it in this application. Plus, I like that all the tools can be in there and locked up. They're not scattered much of the bed or I'm not trying to find room for them in the cab. They're all here, it's locked up. Nobody can mess with it when I'm not around. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.